Libya's intelligence headquarters stands in ruins. Parts of it destroyed by a NATO airstrike that targeted a building that struck fear in the hearts of many Libyans for more than 40 years. Among the rubble and ransacked offices lie some of the deepest secrets of Gaddafi's regime. Thousands of secret documents outlining how the colonel suppressed his people for all these years. And despite Gaddafi's anti-American rhetoric, there is evidence that his regime maintained direct communication with influential American figures until just a few weeks ago. In the office of Abdullah Sunusi, head of Gaddafi's intelligence service, one of his in-laws and a man wanted for war crimes, Al Jazeera found what appeared to be minutes of a meeting between senior Libyan officials and David Welch, former Assistant Secretary of State and the man who brokered the deal which restored diplomatic relations between the US and Libya in 2008. Welch now works for Bechtel, a multinational American company with billion dollar construction deals across the Middle East. The documents record that David Welch met with Gaddafi officials at the Four Seasons Hotel in Cairo on August 2nd. They further note that during that meeting, Welch advised Gaddafi's team on how to win the propaganda war, suggesting several, quote, confidence-building measures. Minutes of this meeting note his advice on how to undermine Libya's rebel movement, with the potential assistance of foreign intelligence agencies, including Israel. Any information related to al-Qaeda or other terrorist extremist organizations should be found and given to the American administration, but only via the intelligence agencies of either Israel, Egypt, Morocco, or Jordan. America will listen to them. It's better to receive this information as if it originated from those countries. The papers also document that Welch advised Gaddafi's regime to take advantage of the current unrest in Syria pointing out the importance of taking advantage of the Syrian situation, particularly regarding the double standard policy adopted by Washington. The Syrians were never your friends and you would lose nothing from exploiting the situation there in order to embarrass the West. According to the document, Welch also attacked Qatar's role in supporting the NTC, describing Doha's actions as cynical and an attempt to divert attention from the unrest in Bahrain. The document claims Welch went on to propose the following solution to the crisis, which he said many would support in the U.S. administration. Gaddafi, quote, should step aside, but not necessarily relinquish all his powers. A clear contradiction to the public demands by the White House that Gaddafi must be removed. According to the document, as the meeting closed, Welch promised, quote, to convey everything to the American administration, the Congress and other influential figures. But it appears that David Welch was not the only prominent American giving help to Gaddafi as NATO and the rebel army were locked in battle with his regime. On the floor of the intelligence chief's office lay an envelope addressed to Gaddafi's son, Saif al-Islam. Inside, Al Jazeera found what appears to be a summary of a conversation between U.S. Congressman Dennis Kucinich, who publicly opposed U.S. policy on Libya, and an intermediary for the Libyan leader's son. It details a request by the congressman for information he needed to lobby American lawmakers to suspend their support for the Libyan National Transitional Council and put an end to NATO airstrikes. According to the documents, Kucinich wanted evidence of corruption within the NTC and any possible links within rebel ranks to Al-Qaeda. It also lists specific information needed to defend Saif al-Islam, currently on the International Criminal Court's most wanted list, where he brought to The Hague, and more significantly, evidence required to file lawsuits against NATO and the US. It took six months to topple Gaddafi's regime but the colonel did rule for over 40 years, during which thousands went missing, planes were blown up and billion dollar deals were struck. Finding out the true story behind all this will take a long time. And even then, there are some things that will never be known.